So the second part of this um, unit two of the syntax series is going to look at a couple of other functions that we often end up using with loops. And these are zip and enumerate. Um, so this is um, where often we're going to be programming in a loop to iterate over um, entries in a list or, um, or some sort of sequence. So for this example, we're going to um, have a list of prime numbers and another list which is the the names of those numbers in words. So here we go, prime numbers 2 to 17 and then the same the names just the numbers written out as words. Um, this is a kind of simple example. So first of all we want to write a loop that will print out the prime number and its name. So one way of doing this would be to write a loop like this so we create a variable ix which is going to be iterated from 0 to the num length of the prime numbers list so um, I've got uh, seven prime numbers there so it's going to count from 0 to 6 and then I look in the prime numbers list and get the that element and I look in the names list and I get the name that corresponds to the same element and then I can print the number and the name oh, so it works fine there's nothing wrong with it But it's a bit clunky. We're having to kind of create this variable ix that's going to increment over the two lists and then pull in turn the, the lists out. So um, that's just getting a little bit more complicated. So there must be an easier way of doing it. So if it was just one list we had, then you could just do something like this. For name in prime names, print the names. It would simply print the names of the numbers out, um, of all seven numbers out one after the other. The problem is we've got two lists and we need to take the first element from the first list and the first element from the second list and then the second element from the first list and the second element from the second list and then the third element from the first list and the third element from the second list and so on. And this is where the Python zip function comes in very handy. Zip takes a number of uh, things that can be iterated over, so in other words things like lists, and it returns a tuple of the first items from each list and then the second items from each list and then the third items from each list and so on as you go through all the lists. So um, we can now do that same bit of code we were doing but making use of zip and so you see here that what happens is that we say um, we're going to get a tuple from the zip and we can do this trick where if you're being passed a tuple you can assign it to two different variables or three different variables depending on how many elements there are in the tuple at the same time. So the zip gives us the first element in prime names, the first element in prime numbers, and it'll give us the second element in prime names and the second element in prime numbers. Um, and we're feeding that into the variables name and number, and then simply print name and number one after the other. And so now we've gone back and done the equivalent of what you could do with a single list, but we're now iterating over both lists. And rather than to um, keep track of uh, which index we're on and so on is all being done for us. Another common task you want to go and do is you want to actually have the index counter as you work your way through a list. So we want to have each element of a list and we also want to have a number which just goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on as we count through the list. So you could do this in a couple of ways. Um, you could write um, a list which you write a for loop which creates a an indexing integer so it's this is the same trick as we just had it's range len the number of things we're iterating over and then you can print the um, the index number and you can get the name of the prime num the, the entry in the prime names list that corresponds to that index um, and you can print them both out and that works just fine or alternatively you could do it this way around you could create an indexing variable which is going to count up and just do for name in prime names print the index variable and the name and then increment the index variable inside the for loop. However those are both a bit clunky and clumsy um, so again Python gives us a better way of doing this which is to use the enumerate function. So what enumerate simply does is it takes a um, something which you can, you can iterate over, so the items of a, of a list or um, something else, and then returns a tuple 
of 0 and the first item, then 1 and the second item, then 2 and the third item, and so on. So every time you find yourself writing a list, writing a for loop, which goes something like for something in range len some list, and then do something with some list index something, um, you're pretty sure you ought to be using enumerate and saving yourself some effort. So here's how you do it. So you've simply got for the index variable ix and name in enumerate, then the prime names. And so what it's doing is enumerate is going, OK, here's the first element from prime names, give it a zero. Here's the second element from prime names and a one. Here's the third element from prime names and a and a two and so on all the way through until it gets to the end of the list and that lets you print out in our case the index number and name of course you probably don't be doing this just to go and print a number that goes from zero upwards so you're probably using that index somewhere else in your code but enumerate takes out the hassle of having to manage creating and, and checking what that index variable actually is and incrementing it manually So in summary, in this uh, unit we've covered um, using break so you can exit a loop early, using continue to skip straight over to the next iteration of a loop, having an else on a for or while loop which lets you execute code when the loop finishes without hitting a break, and then also using zip and enumerate to avoid having to create extra variables to manage inside a loop just to go and count over things in lists.